So hi everyone and welcome to our last week of our prenatal yoga challenge and we will do some balancing in yoga for our week 40. We will start in a seated position and extend your legs straight out in front of you and put a slight and generous bend in the knees as you fold forward over your extended legs and allow your upper body to completely relax and you can also sit on a bolster and we will start our relaxation technique and today we will talk about a mystic waterfall so begin by paying attention to your breath listening and observing allowing it to naturally flow and as you pay attention to your breath, you'll find yourself settling your body, settling into the present moment and becoming more relaxed. So look before you, there is a beautiful path leading to a forest. Begin to wander on this path. It seems to sparkle as the rays of the sunlight your way. There are birds singing and friendly animals scurrying about. You feel very peaceful in this forest. And you notice in front of you a beautiful doorway. And when it opens, in this doorway you will find yourself in the center of the waterfall that completely surrounds you. And the waterfall of many colors and it also has a great healing energy. Imagine yourself sitting in the waterfall. And now you notice the waterfall runs and turns into a beautiful red color. And this red energy and mist washes over you, cleaning and cleansing your energy helping to balance your base chakra at the bottom of your spine. Imagine this center glowing in a beautiful red light. Your base chakra, when it's balanced, allows you to feel secure and grounded and connected to Mother Earth. So take any issues you might have around you, physical self and your security, and imagine releasing and clearing these issues through the center channel of light. Imagine them going down into the earth to be cleansed. And then we will switch position to our next in position. You place the bolster along the back of the spine. It's optional to use a block behind the bolster to provide a little more elevation. So lay back gently over the bolster, feeling the arch of the spine, arms overhead or to the sides, or resting on the heart. Now the waterfall turns to a brilliant orange color and this orange energy and mist washes over you cleansing and clearing your energy and this orange energy helps to balance your second chakra located a few inches below your navel so imagine this chakra glowing in orange light this is your water chakra your chakra of flow, emotion and creativity imagine now releasing any issues you may have around your emotions, how you might hide from yourself and the world, any issue you might have around your ability to be creative. And imagine releasing those through the central channel of light into the earth to be cleared. Now concentrate on your breath for a moment and stay here.
then come back from this position at your own pace and then we'll adjust to our next position so place it behind you place the bolster along the top of the blocks if you're using one and turn on to one side placing the hip up against the bottom of the bolster bend the knees and then use your hands also for support and make any adjustments you feel you need to and then close your eyes again and now we will return to our waterfall the waterfall turns into a bright yellow and this yellow energy and mist washes over you clearing and cleansing your energy in your body and helping to balance and clear your solar plexus chakra your south third chakra which is found in the center of the torso above the navel imagine this center glowing in yellow light this is your center of self-esteem, confidence, will, putting your ideas into action. This is your fire center. And now take any issues around you, your self-esteem, feeling of not being good enough, procrastinating or any of the ways you hold yourself back. Think of all these things and imagine releasing them through the center channel of the body into the earth you can stay here or you can turn on your other side of wherever feels comfortable for you right now and we will stay here for a couple of minutes And now, come gently up to a standing, up to a sitting position so that we can switch and move our bolster to the other side. You can lie on it and find a comfortable place. You can again close your eyes. Focus on your breathing and now the waterfall turns into a bright emerald green color and this bright green energy and mist washes over you, clearing and cleansing your energy in your body and also helping to balance your heart chakra. This is our fourth chakra. Imagine your heart center glowing in green light. This is your center for connection, relationships, for connecting and loving others, and also for your loving yourself. And now imagine taking any issues you might have about keeping your distance from others, any issues you have not been kind enough to yourself or others, any old pain. And allow that to be released and cleared to the center channel of your body into the Mother Earth.
then release and come to a sitting position so that if we can switch we can again use our bolster place it across the top of your back below the shoulder blades laying back gently over the bolster and adjust it and then rest your head on the mat you may choose to keep your knees bent or straight or butterfly and now you can again close your eyes so now the waterfalls turns into a bright sky blue color and this blue energy and mist washes over you cleaning and cleansing your energy and your body helping to balance your throat chakra imagine your throat center glowing into blue light this is your center of communication your voice in the world and your authenticity so imagine taking any issues around communication and clearing those issues through the center channel of your body into the earth to be cleared and released Then gently come to a seated position from the one side <clears throat> in your own time sit up and get ready to transition to an easy pose on the floor with your bolster on blanket and position your chair so the seat is facing you place your bolster on the floor if you need one to sit on and bring the chair close enough so that you can raise your forehead and arms comfortably on the chair fold, fold your arms and rest your forearms and head on the chair inhale and exhale and I know the waterfall turns violet this amazing violet energy pours over you, cleansing and clearing your energy and body and helping to open up and balance the crown chakra at the top of your head. Imagine your crown chakra glowing in violet light. This is your chakra for connection to your higher self, to source, to God. So take any of the ways in which you make yourself separate and release those thoughts, the center channel of your body into the Mother Earth.
now gently coming into a wide legged child's pose so place the bolster or pillow underneath your head and chest you can use a blanket underneath your hips to take up any extra space and support the hips you can also use blocks under the bolster to raise the head and when you're ready relax your head on the bolster close your eyes and now the waterfall transforms into many colors you have released a lot of ticks today a lot of stagnant energy and these colors are pouring over you filling up your energy making you feel clearer and brighter Now we will come to our last position. So we will lie on the on our mat. You can use a bolster under your knees for support. Relax your body. Relax your hands. Focus on your breathing. We will now return to our forest. So notice a bridge out in front of you and begin to walk towards it. And as you cross over this bridge, you will be brought back into the present moment, but with a newfound sense of peace and relaxation. So walk over that bridge, 
coming back into this place, to this time, into this space. And remain silent with closed eyes for a moment here. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, exhale slowly. And stay here for as long as you feel comfortable. And when you're ready, begin to move your legs, move your hands, move your knees from side to side and come from one side to a sitting position. And thank you for being with me today in our last prenatal yoga challenge. Namaste.